So, Paulina, is this your first time here in Dallas? Yeah, you know, it is. I've been to Houston. I've never been to Dallas. And I know you've been here sometimes, right? I have. I'm just here in May. And let me correct myself. This is DFW because we're technically not in Dallas. We're in Irving. So, to be reflective of the entire Metroplex, DFW. Yeah. So, Paulina, you know, you've been in this business for a long time, and it was weird. I sent her a text message this morning while I was in bed saying, hey, we need to get ready for our rehearsals. And she said, oh, I'm busy doing homework, and I forgot that she's in high school and not in college or anything. Yeah, um, yeah, finishing, you know, senior year, so I, I, I have to get three assignments in, so, like, been there, done that. It, like, <laughs> been there, done that. So, and you've done so much, like, you got into CNN when you were 16. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That in itself is a weird story, but I couldn't be more ecstatic to have you know been there for over 12 years now. Yeah, it's amazing. So let's get this started. I know. Okay. Um. Okay. So shall we begin? We're gonna get started. We have some amazing people here tonight. Absolutely. Star Williams. And we have Greg Daniels in the house. Mm -hmm. Woo! Let's hear it up for them. Let's hear it up for them. So let's get on with this, shall we? Did you know that we have helpers? We can't just do it all up here by ourselves. Let's start by calling the names. Nina Mitchell, please come to the stage. Right. Tiffany Mitchell and Jenny Pepper, please come on up and help us out. And again, let's give our volunteers a round of applause. International Awards show. 
in the USA on September the 12th, 2015. The show honors outstanding members and international leaders who serve others through community service, a philanthropy across the globe. We thank you, Dr. Laverne, and the Kuhn Lee for taking the charity to the next level. We thank you for your support and collaboration. Thank you for seeing the value in J.D. Dandelon's mission. We appreciate that you care. May your companies continue to flourish, and we look forward to working with you more on future events. Would you welcome Dr. Laverne? It's a privilege to stand before you just to say thank you. I thank Moonbi, her hard desire to be able to share with the world who she is and what she's doing with her mission to brand the family name and what they're doing to save lives of others. So we're excited. We thank God for LA Expose. My son, Dr. Makaya Tillman, who supports LA Expose, and all of the fans and members of LA Expose, we thank God and we give him praise and glory. Well, I am excited to present this celebrity. I already owe her money. <laughs> Little joke. But Ms. Bowder Beebe is Omnimedia host, CEO of PIP Production, and executive producer of the Bowder Beebe Show, the new kind of talk show. Some of you may know her from the celebrity interview, the Bowder Beebe Show, interviews with today's most recognized celebrities. In 2013, the show reached over 12 million listeners, web visitors, social media subscribers, and readers. Isn't that awesome? The Valver BB Show 2011 was voted Best Talk Show Site by Web Awards. Interviews with rich, famous celebrities and everyday success stories without the gossip and drama. Valder has been married for 28 years to the man of her dreams. Oh, I'm sorry. It says 28, but 30. I will give you that. 30 years. I owe him a penny. Correction. She continues to make her dreams come true for women to have the best information for our 21st century journey to filter through God's spiritual lenses. Numerous times, Valder Beebe has given J.B. Dondolo charity exposure on the Valder Beebe show through interviews, sharing of charity flyers, and on her talk show website, as well as with her radio fans, and through weekly e-blasts. Valder has a strong following and a big database. We thank you, Valder Beebe, for your support and collaboration. Thank you for seeing the value in J.B. Dondolo's mission. We look forward to working with you more. May your business continue to flourish. Thank you, everyone. Of course, you know I'm down to meet you by now. And you've heard this before, and I'm going to say it. I thank God. I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, and I'm well. I wasn't sick, but I am all those things. So, thank you, God. I didn't mean to get in front of you, but I had to get that one. I want to thank Ruby for being my friend and allowing me to help her, and she's helped me equally as much. But I want to thank the man of my dreams, James Beebe, who's also my business partner, and my husband, and my photographer, and the father of my children. <laughs> But I want to thank you guys for coming tonight and supporting Mommy because as you support her and her mission, she changes the world. And I hope each of you continue to change the world in your way, in a special way. Thank you. The next presenter is Sassy Michelle. Good evening. Sheena Brown. Ooh, look, honey. I ain't gonna bite you. <laughs> Dallas Bates, K 
Keisha Sheena Brown recently launched Erotic Hair by Sheena, a luxury hair and wig boutique located in the heart of Dallas, Design District. Affectionately known as Sheena. So we had Johnny Cash, Bob Hope, and Steve Jobs. Now we have no cash, no hope, no jobs. Dear God, please don't let me have a bank of jobs. I was really happy that Lumi asked me to be here tonight to, to welcome you all and open the show. And I want to welcome you and thank you for coming. On behalf of Equanimity Magazine, I'd like to say hello, welcome, enjoy the show. We're benefiting J.B. Dundalo, sorry. Cheers. See, y'all didn't see that chivalry in place. He wanted to let the young lady vote before him. <laughs> absolutely amazing the fact that she's along with all the countless um, participants and people who volunteer their time to put this together I just want to acknowledge you and give you a round of applause because you deserve it and I hope you, uh, as I told you earlier I hope you get a chance to kind of take a time out and celebrate yourself and because this is beautiful and I'm very appreciative and uh, the charity and everyone involved um, I always knew that I would get an award, right? Since I was a kid. It was this weird kind of thing. I always knew I would get this award, right? Now I'm not a singer. I can't sing for anything. I'm not an actor. So I don't do anything that society says you should get an award for. In the fifth grade, I used to practice my signature. I didn't know why I was doing it. I would just perfect my signature until it became something that I was fine with and I said, you know, when I get older I'm gonna I'm gonna sign something. I'm gonna sign people, I'm gonna sign autographs. I didn't know what that meant. I had no idea. I think it's a testament that says a lot of times God will put purpose in us before we even know what to do with it, before we even know what it is. Yeah. And I'm just I'm, I'm so humble so I'm kind of like I'm, I'm I'm bugging out a little bit but um Everyone here, everyone sitting here, uh, we all woke up this morning because we still have that, that purpose in us. And it's our duty and, uh, and our honor to God, it's our responsibility to God to get that thing done, the thing that's tugging at your heart, whether you're, you're, you're young, you're old, it's never too late. Whether you're disabled, whether you, whatever your situation is, it's never too late to get started on that journey and that path. And I encourage everyone here to pursue that purpose and not be afraid of it. Uh, you never know where it'll get you. And um, a lot of times we ask God for things and we pray for things and we beg for things. And those things that we ask for are often already answered. Those prayers are often already answered. We, it's just God is waiting on us to take that step forward and take that initiative. So uh, I encourage everyone here to just pursue that passion, pursue that purpose. And um, I can't, I'd be remiss if I didn't miss, uh, mention my wife, who was unable to, unable to make it here because she's 34 weeks pregnant. And to my son, who I will meet next week. He's just trying to make me get that boot camp workout going on. That's all. It's all good, though. Equality Awards benefit Gayla Taz Committee as an advisor. She is a valuable resource who always volunteers her time to do things that benefit others, not necessarily her. She's the type of person who do not take credit for anything, and that includes this recognition which she believes she should be given to those more in the communities. Thank you, Denise, for the countless volunteer hours you've given to J.B. Donago in charity. The planning, the logistics, you name it. Regardless of what you say, you are deserving this recognition. Off the stage, we have a question. Have you guys ever heard this dance called the Nene? 
right now, Ms. Ms. Gotch is the 2015 inductee into the Texas Black Sports Hall of Fame. She has become a certified LPGA City of Dallas Recreational Center as the head golf professional at Cedar Crest Golf Course Milana oversaw all the operations of the golf course. After graduating from college with a bachelor's degree in accounting, Milana played for two seasons on the prestigious Futures Golf Tour, now the Symmetra Tour. Following the golf development program. She takes pride in being a role model to introduce minorities and others to the game helping people to play better and get more enjoyment from the game. She is truly looking forward to a growing career and is doing her part daily to bring more enrichment to the game of golf. Let's go to the video game. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> choosing me for this honor. Um, I'm nervous, but I gotta get it together. Um, I thank God for this opportunity. Um, I thank God thank for everything I've done. And I never expected to be a trailblazer when I started playing golf, but now that I'm in the industry and the business, I take that honor on and I continue to do everything I can to ensure that other minority women continue, and girls, get into the game of golf. Um, I love golf. I've been in golf my whole life, and I'm gonna do everything I can to just expand that. Um, I would love to see all of you all play golf. <laughs> um, I just, I work every day at the course, and Dr. Arnett, I see him at least once a week because he's a golfer. Um, but I love the game, and so I'm going to continue to do everything I can just to ensure that it continues to grow. Um, again, thank you for this opportunity. Um, I just met Lumbi not too long ago, and I'm, I'm honored and inspired by continuing to see what she does grow and just to see how I can help. Right, thank you all very much. Highlighting Wendy's story. <laughs> 